Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to all of you to Intera's uh, Wino webinar today. Uh, we really appreciate your making time for us uh, at these times, particularly. My name is Ashish Basu. I'm from Intera's sales team. I'm going to be your co-host today. I come to you from a very sunny and a very locked down Northern California. I have uh, your other co-host, Joe Johnson, from our application engineering team today, joining us from Denver. Uh, before we get into uh, the discussion on Veno, uh, very briefly about Intera Systems, uh, we are a uh, Cupertino, California-based company. We have a globally distributed presence with offices in uh, North America, Europe, Asia Pacific region. We're also fortunate uh, uh, and lucky to have 30 plus incredible companies that work as our channel partners and system integration partners globally that uh, help us uh, take our solutions uh, to our customers. Uh, as a team, we are known for our encoder compliance solutions uh, that we build in the name of Vega product family, uh, our file QC solutions called Baton our uh, live uh, ABR monitoring solutions, the Orion product family, and finally, uh, our classification product, Wino. Today's conversation is actually about Wino. Uh, Wino is a, a very unique uh, product offering from Intera. Uh, we think it's uh, one of the best solutions in the industry today. It's a machine learning based uh, classification solution that uh, takes media files and labels and classifies it in various categories. Uh, in, in most of these types of machine learning solutions, the nature uh, of the solution is stochastic. So there is a bit of randomness. No solution can be 100% accurate, but Wino is, uh, uh, is very powerful and unique because we build in uh, a, a balance uh, of uh, the precision recall and also uh, we continuously improve the F1 uh, measure as we go along. And as a result, Wino delivers a uh, very powerful uh, classification and labeling of your media content with its unique winnowing scheme. We are seeing uh, various use cases of Wino emerging globally. We have seen um, beautiful use cases coming up in the uh, advertising industry. We are seeing use cases coming from cultural localization, uh, different types of uh, uh, policy priorities, for example, violence, uh, other types of explicit content. And we're working through all of those as we learn. And it's no wonder that as a result of those uh, rich set of features and uh, the integration that we know has with our other products like Baton and it's uh, a uh, very rich set of APIs and ease of integration. It's, uh, it's winning awards. It's being liked in almost all the markets where we have introduced it, uh, including an award in, uh, in NAB last time. With those few words, it's my proud privilege to introduce our Wino solution to all of you. Let me hand over to Joe. Joe? Thank you so much, Ashish. My name is Joe Johnson. I'm located here in Denver, Colorado, and it's my pleasure to talk to you about Wino today. This session is about Wino. Well, what is Wino? Wino is an Intera Systems award-winning video classification software that is automated. Wino is a tool that can detect items such as violent content, explicit scenes, or keywords in media files that are scheduled for classification. Whenever any explicit violent health risk or even political content is detected, Wino reports this. The detection is then put into, an, into a video and audio timeline segment with a label that describes the detected item. Currently, Wino detects the following items, content classification, explicit scenes, general scenes, with an example like fireworks, health advisory products, violent scenes, celebrity identification, logo identification, and strong words and keywords. The Winnow usage model is a powerful workflow for classifying audio video content into semantic concepts. 
Winnow uses an artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies for identification of key elements in content in accordance with regulations in different countries, regions, and or organizations. In this slide, we see how content is passed through the Winnow application with an intended scheme and then creating reports that can be customized to the classification you're looking for. Winnow also works hand in hand with the award-winning Baton Enterprise. Let's say after you have Baton Enterprise quality controlled a video file for either pixelization and calm audio levels, a seamless handoff can happen straight to Winnow for classification. Then all of these Baton reports and Winnow reports can be conglomerated into a single report if needed. Report formats can be in PDF, XML, or JSON. This handoff can be automated so it's integrated into your workflow. Furthermore, Winnow can also be a standalone instance. Winnow has a plethora of categories to use as inspection results. Here we can see content classification like financial services, law, lottery, political, violent content, things with like guns, fighting scenes, explosions. After that, we have explicit content, nudity, sexual situations, health advisory classifications with alcohol or smoking, general scenes with fireworks or gambling, audio word detection, being able to actually listen to the audio and we can find those words or find strong language. Lastly, we have logo identification, celebrity detection, and even beep and EAS detection. In this slide, we see a, a simple Winnow workflow example. Winnow provided the initial results to an operator review. The advanced Winnow reports give the operator the evidence if it's ready for air, or if it needs legal review, like a political advertisement, or if it needs additional workflows, reject. An example of a rejection would be a detection of alcohol hired spirits. In some circumstances and or regions, these need to be only allowed after a certain time in the day. Now let me tell you about Winnow's accuracy numbers. Common used parameters for measuring accuracy in machine learning applications are precision and recall. Precision depicts the fraction of true positives among the total retrieved instances by the algorithm. Thus, 100% precision implies no false detection. Recall represents the fraction of true positives among the total relevant instances. Thus, 100% recall implies no misdetection. Using both of these metrics, you have a score of F1. This is a measure of accuracy and detection. Ideally, both precision and recall should be high. However, for most application, it works like a seesaw and it's important to strike a balance between your various parameters because focusing only on one can lead to either high false detections and or low missed detections or vice versa. Winnow is an industry leader with the best F1 score in the business. Winnow performance. Depending on how many detections you have enabled depends on how long it will take. With all current detections turned on, our current performance is two to three times real time, meaning a 30 second commercial will take one minute and 30 seconds or less. Throughput can be increased by adding more GPU servers and then running multiple jobs in parallel. The Winnow hardware requirements are the, uh, we run on Linux Ubuntu software, either version 16 or 18. The processor needs to be a strong Intel Xeon E5 1650 or higher. You must have at least 32 gigs of RAM and your disk space needs to be a terabyte. We support both one and 10 gigabit network cards and we support uh, the NVIDIA GeForce family at 1080 uh, Ti or higher. We also support on-premises or cloud-based setups. In our roadmap, 
we'll have more support for more categories and add classification. We will have detections for gunshots, blood, and car chases. We will be also doing more audio detections like explosions and gunshots. Lastly, we're expanding to, rec we're expanding to recognize content genres like sports or wildlife. In our roadmap, we're expanding our workflow integrations with our own products with Orion OTT, and we're providing more RESTful APIs. Now I'm going to do a demonstration of Winno so you can see the interface and its powerful detections. Let me close this PowerPoint and get the user interface loaded. Here we can see the user interface. And right here we have the tasks pane. And what we can see here is columns of everything that we have in regards to what happened in the tasks. First, we can see the file name. We get a brief look at the detections it's seen, the scheme it was using, when it was started, what workflow it's using, and what stage in that workflow it's at. Lastly, we have these three dots where we can actually use the reporting and either download these as PDF, XML, or JSON, or we can play them with BMP. Let's take a look at this example. Looking at this file called alcohol MP4, we can see a few different things here. In our summary, we can see when it was scheduled, when it started and when it completed. We also see here at the bottom, the aggregated results. We see alcohol drinks and alcohol was found. And then also in the audio alcohol drinks was mentioned. Let's take a look at this in more depth. In the preview, we can actually see the frames that it finds. Now notice, when I actually click on it, it makes that, hey, I found this here. That's pretty neat. Also, we have another video indicator, and this is actually using optical character recognition. And when I click on this, it actually finds it. And when I click on this, it blows it up and I actually found the word vodka. Lastly, in the audio, we can hear the word um, vodka spoken. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in more detail. I'm going to open this up in Baton Media Player. Now what I'm going to do for you first is I'm going to play the whole clip by itself so you can see it, and then I'm going to break it down on how all these detections were found. There's no absolutes in life, only vodka. Whiskey doesn't ask silly questions. Whiskey understands. Hope you guys heard that okay. So what we found here is there was a couple of detections and we can use our bait and media player to look at these detections. First off, Let's go ahead and look at this filters panel. We can either look at the video part of this or the audio part. Notice here in the audio, I can go ahead and click on vodka. <laughs> it plays at half speed and we heard the word vodka. Similarly, we can also hear the word whiskey right here. So very neat, but we can also switch right over to our video findings and be able to see these. Now notice these are all on our time panel as well as it's listed. We can also bring up different panels like a file properties panels and our audio levels as well. Pretty neat stuff. Now going back to Winnow, we can also see in our details timeline where everything has happened. It provides the start and end time in SMPTE timecode and as well the duration that it found these detections. This is imperative for people that need to find detections and be able to use those for future editing points or 
changing things. Let's talk a little bit more about Winnow and how it sets up. Well, currently right now, we support different types of content locations. A content location is where your content will reside. We do network locations as a mount share, so it would be local, FTP, S3 storage, which would be uh, AWS, or Azure storage. Very simple to set up and very simple to use. Once you're in your folders, you can go ahead and select your content and then be able to submit it and be able to choose which scheme you'll be using. Well, that brings us right into our next part. Schemes. Boy, we have a lot of them, and I think it's pretty neat to show you how we've set this up. Again, I talked about this in the PowerPoint, but let's see it as it actually works. Our content classification, and we have advertisement classifications. Notice here we have auto, financial services, health services. In explicit content, we can see we have undergarments or body parts. Going down to say health advisory, we can see alcohol, smoking, even breakdown of tobacco products. And then of course, violent content and being able to identify fights or even uh, uniform personnel like soldiers or policemen. We also can detect strong language and or logos and audio events. Now, as these get passed through the schemes, they go to different workflows. We call these boards. In these boards, you can see thing, where they are in the review process. Are they in an operator review stage, in a legal review stage, an edit needing stage, or ready for air stage? Now, this is just an example we've built. You can build your own customized workflows. With this, I want to go ahead and pass the microphone over back to Ashish Basu. Thanks, Joe. Thanks a lot, everybody, once again. Appreciate your time today. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.